depends on. I think your voice is a bit low. Can you? Oh, give me a second. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to uh, Gospel City. I know you're not a stranger here. How has your weekend been? <laughs> How is your weekend? By the grace of God, it was very, very, very booming. Oh, wow. Booming. How about yours? Mine was also good. Okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> Thank God. Yes, yes, thank God. Thank God for you too. Yes, so as you know, let's dive in, jump into the item at hand. As you know, right, You are, were you able to watch the video? Did you have the opportunity to watch the video we just showed? Yeah, I saw the video circulating, yeah. Okay. I saw it. All right, that's good then. Okay, so as you know, a lot has happened. Minister Joy is blessed, just blessing. And she's really a marvel, prophecy and everything. And I think the prophecy is was relating to her marriage and, and everything. Yeah, so I want to... I want to hear your opinion on that. You being a prophet of God, I know you are deep and you are spiritual. So <laughs> yes. Yes, by the mercies of God. <laughs> yeah, so, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, God works in mysterious ways and that cannot be answered um, by anybody. Nobody can tell what God to do mm -hmm. or how to do it. So there are two ways, okay? But then, in the prophetic ministration or the prophetic ministry, um, God also entreats us to have wisdom. Mm -hmm. See, Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. That means wisdom is known when you are what? Beginning to fear God. Mm -hmm. It is the first thing every Christian has to get to be able to activate whatever God wants a person to get. Because Bible says that a false balance is an abomination. That means that you can love God, but if you, Bible even says that zeal without knowledge is foolishness. Mm -hmm. So you can carry the zeal to do God's work, but without the knowledge that comes with it, you become foolish. So in the prophetic ministry, there is thou sayest the Lord, like um, uh, Mother Mars is dead. Um, but I, in my own opinion, mm -hmm. I could be wrong. The reason why I'm saying I stand to be corrected is the fact that God cannot be questioned. It could be God that said that, go and say it. Prophets hearken to the voice of nobody but God. Mm -hmm. I don't know what God told her, but if that was what God told her, then she is not wrong at all for doing anything. Mm -hmm. If God told her, go, I have told you to go, go, then I am nobody to talk about it. Yes. But if it's the other way around, then we need wisdom to break down um, the, the, the word of God. Because you know, Cecilia, um, you, I believe Cecilia Mafo or our mother Cecilia Mafo has known Joyce Blessing for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And if you have to communicate anything to her, I mean, the numbers around, you know, you can contact her manager or whatever and, you know, talk to her. So mm -hmm. I believe there were a lot of um, ways to contact her mm -hmm. and break the prophecy down. Mm -hmm. But then if you go straight like that, the Bible says that he that uh, speaks in tongues edifies himself, but he that speaks in prophecy, um, he that um, prophesies edifies the church. It means that prophecy carries a, a bit of edification. Now, if God is telling somebody to go back for the marriage, the prophecy itself should carry an edifying message that go back because I, the Lord, has what promised and I will never fail. Whatever that was going on, I have still said that I am God. And I will still fulfill what I said concerning your marriage. Mm -hmm. You see, that is the edification that comes with it. So now you are rest assured. But a prophecy that does not come with edification has a question mark. Yes. That I can say with all boldness. Because God promises and he never fails. So if he yes. tells you that you are going to marry or go back to your marriage, then he's telling you something that is going to give you a reason to be in the marriage. That I am God. Is there anything too hard for me? So when God told Abraham, Abraham was, God told him, you become a father of nations. He questioned God. There are no two ways about it. Yeah. But God told him, look, count the stars, count the sun of the sea. Mm -hmm. And then edification came. Now do not worry, as you are seeing yourself, I will make you. So you see, God edifies you and gives you a reason to do it. But mm -hmm. for her to go publicly, um, in the Bible, uh, apart from Jesus Christ preaching and sometimes he shuts people up. up. Um, I've never seen God going to um, a person of status and going just like that. Mm -hmm. Unless it is in a small group 
of the person's or the person's comfort zone. Even Saul, who was rejected by God, God did not publicly um, reject Saul. Yes. He told Samuel, "We are reading it, so we see it as an open thing." But he told he told um, Samuel, "Go and tell Saul this." Or when Saul went to um, Samuel, he told him that this is what the Lord is saying. Saul mourned. He did not publicly say it that, "Oh, ye Israel." The Lord has rejected Saul. No. So I don't know. I could be wrong because God's ways are unlimited. That one, I am nobody to question that. So it could be true what God said. But like I always say, zeal without knowledge is foolishness. You have to carry um, wisdom itself. It is principle. Our Bible says it. You have to carry wisdom to, um, you see, because, you see, even, let's assume it is let's say it's god i believe she carries the spirit of god yes. it's, let's say it's god now god has told you to go and tell her now what where was the edifying part of the prophecy you see the word of god is a double-edged sword mm -hmm. so when the word of god sets in yes. it does two things corrects you and inspires you right. so the inspirational part was not there and i can i cannot say with all boldness that anybody was inspired or um um edified with this prophecy right. the prophecy of god does not break so you see when the word of god comes even when they are preaching which is the the, the basic prophecy which is the word of god when you are preaching about hell it is still telling you about heaven yes. that if you will let the things of this world go then the lord will give you eternal life it edifies you in whichever way or whatsoever right. so i i don't know um but the prophetic calling is not easy to carry so that's one thing i know for sure that um Sometimes we are moved by the zeal we carry for God. Yes. We love God so much that sometimes zeal can let us do things yes. which become questionable in the sight of man. Mm -hmm. But also, I am nobody to say that uh, it was right or wrong. But in my own opinion, yes. I will say what I'm being led by the Spirit to say. That we need wisdom to wisdom. communicate to people. Wow. wow. We need wisdom to communicate to people. Thank you. That's a powerful, yeah. powerful, powerful one. And I know everyone listening, you're taking notes because this will be, you will need this. You will need this in your journey to God. Maybe God has called you to be a prophet, a prophetess, right? And you need all these things. Please take notes, okay? So that you don't, you learn, okay? We are learning in the steps of others. Yeah, to unlearn, to learn, okay? So thank you so much, Prophet Minister Norris, for coming. Yes. For calling in. Yes. That you've given us some uh, nuggets and we use it for our life. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, the only thing I'll say yes. um, before I end is that we yes. should not um, be quick to um, say um, what she did was wrong yes. because God doesn't make a mistake. If God does something that is wrong in the eyes of men, it, it, God is not wrong. Yeah, we right. may think it's wrong. Yes. So I don't know what God told her. Yes. Now, on show be a, a different move. But I know that if it is God, then there's something new behind it. Yeah. But that's one thing I know. But for, for all, generally, we apply wisdom. But apart from that, yeah, let, um, let us not question the ways of God. But if it's not God, we will know from what fruits the prophecies bear. Right. Thank you so much. So wisdom, wisdom is a principal thing. I think wisdom, you need it more than any other thing to serve God well. Okay. You need it than any other thing. So much. Thank you so much, Prophet Norris, for such a nugget you've given us this evening. And God bless you so much for coming and calling in. I think I have my next caller online. So yes. Thank you so much once okay. again. Have a good God week. bless you. Weekend. Amen. All right. Thank you. Yes. Yes. My next caller is Mina. Hi, Mina. Are you online? Okay, Pastor Linda. Pastor Linda. I have the pastors calling. Yay, that's good, right? It's very good. This issues like this, I want pastors and men, men of God to call, right? Because when they call, they, they, they are there, so they know what they're talking about. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Welcome, Pastor Linda. Welcome to the show. <laughs> We can't hear you. Hello, Pastor Linda. We can't hear you. You want to go off and come back again? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I know. I had Mina is on the line. So let's see if we can connect to Mina. 
Hi, Mina. Welcome. Hello, Mina. Yeah, Mina, log off and call back again. All right. Okay, so I'm waiting for my callers, Pastor Linda, to call. And yeah, you're still on Gospel City, watching us from live from the Face Studios in New York. Yes, and as you know, Gospel City, eh? We are the best. <laughs> we are the best TV <laughs> show in the world. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I will take some comments. Uh, so from Ronnie. Ronnie said, yes, the pastors need to educate us. Yes, pastors, we need you to call in. Yes, Pastor Linda. Yeah, hello. Yes, welcome, Pastor Linda. Welcome. Thank you, Linda. How are you doing? You're I'm looking doing sweet this evening. Yeah, I'm, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm doing well by God's grace. Please, how are you doing? <laughs> Uh, the grace of God has found us all. Awesome, awesome, awesome to know. So, mm -hmm. yes, Pastor Linda, straight to the point, right? Uh, yeah. Did you watch the video? Yeah, I think I happened to watch it this morning. Early oh. in the morning, I saw it on Facebook. Oh, wow, awesome. And I, so, wow, yeah. what I, is I, happening? Yes, I think the video was there during the week. I think it, people are just getting to know it, so it's going to blow up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. so... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very, very happy you called because you are a pastor, right? Pastors, we need mm -hmm. you to call because then we know what is going on, right? We can talk and can talk and talk, but the pastors, you are there. You are in the same ministry, so you know what, what is what and what is not what. So, yes, as you know, you know the video already, so I will let you just go in and tell us your opinion, what you think as the Spirit lead you. Yes, so Pastor Linda, over to you. Thank you, Linda. Um, as Minister Norris was saying earlier on, we are not in the position to say whether what she did was right if she really had the voice of god to do that but you know uh, our lord is not a god of confusion yes that is one thing that we christians we need to know our god is not a god of confusion he's not a sarcastic god that will cause commotion where his presence is supposed to be because yeah, right. it's administration that uh, joy's blessing was doing so even if she had heard the voice of God, as you also been a minister and now a prophet, I, in my opinion, if I was to hear the voice of God at that time while she was ministering, I will wait because she is also part of us. Yes. I will wait and then you call her aside because it was not like a, a convention ground mm -hmm. or a, a crusade ground that you are doing ministration or doing prophecy or whatever. It was something that she was she had been called to minister yes. so no matter what ask how the spirit is leading you go i know you will hear it mm -hmm. the, what i know is that this upcoming when the spirit of god comes on you and the gift of prophecy comes on you sometimes the force and then the zeal that you yourself you have within you if you don't take care in court you will mislead or mis, uh, misconduct yourself as to what god is telling you yes. i always tell people that when you are in the ministry or when you are in the in, in 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 the point of prophecy when a prophet stands and starts to minister the things that you see are so much that if you don't take care you will give of the prophecies amiss mm -hmm. the words that you give somebody's prophecy to another person meanwhile you heard correctly yeah. that is when this happens and then most pastors always uh, ask i saw that this and I, I know your name is this. I, am I lying? You understand me? Why will you prophesy to me and ask me if what you are telling me is true? Mm -hmm. If what you think you heard was really from God, then you should know that what you are telling me is true. It's the right thing that you are giving to me. Mm -hmm. You need not to ask me what that whatever utterance that you are saying is true or not. Are you getting me? Because mm -hmm. I know, being in the ministry, I know that the things that you see, unless that magnetic eye that you have, you hear so many voices once you're there, but God will never confuse you. Yeah. The one that he really pinpoints to you, you will see everybody. But those that the magnetic eye, that, uh, the spiritual eye that God has given to you to catch, gives you every revelation on point. So if I give every prophecy to you, there's no need for me to ask you that I'm giving the prophecy to, unless that I was not sure of myself. Wow. If you are not sure, there is no need to make yourself a public at something to create a mess yes. 
that means that if you do that you are telling the people that your god does not know what he is using you or her to do so what she did that's what i said i'm not in a position to tell to say that she didn't do the right thing but if she really had the voice of god she should have waited our god is a patient god he does everything in times and seasons as daniel chapter 2 tells us god does everything in times and seasons so if at that moment that uh, blessing is standing there and then the moment she took the microphone is when you got the revelation you should have waited for her to do her ministration mm -hmm. and then you maybe you call her aside mm -hmm. don't make public figure of yourself mm -hmm. call her aside tell her what god is telling you to do the advice he has given you to give to her and then you give to her but what you did now even if it's a blessing that is coming her way has now turned into disgrace mm -hmm. And you yourself that become a tag on you as well too. Now, everybody seeing you at any program, maybe some people may be coming back, coiling themselves to them uh, to, to their shells because if they don't take care and they come closer to you, any place that you are being called and they, they also are being called over there, the moment they meet you, they'll try to what? Coil themselves out. Mm -hmm. And you think that they are, they are what? They're pulling themselves out from you. But because of what they have seen, because because of what you have seen because he knows that he has a very big uh, uh, long peak and he, he, the peak could what hurt the the, the 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 son or daughter that he's playing with so instead of playing with the, the animal playing with the, do, the, 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 the the child he turns the face this way oh, and then okay. starts to pamper you understand me that's what I, it means in english yeah. that's what i am trying because i saw your face that i got to know that you don't know what i'm talking about you understand me so that is why that yeah. you have to be very vigilant and sensitive in the realms of the spirit if you really think you are doing the gift of god and becoming a, you are a prophet mm -hmm. but when you start the move the zeal that you get you see everything so fresh you see everything as if it is happening so if you don't take care, you think that, oh, at that moment, if I don't do what it's going to do, it is going to happen. No. God reveals to redeem. Yes. He never reveals things to us to cause commotion. Right. God does not reveal anything to bring disgrace onto his name. Mm -hmm. So for, for him or for God to send out his people, anybody that God sent into any situation brought a solution. So now, even if God has sent you to give a solution to her, you think this person is going to accept whatever she said now. She's not going to accept it. She might think that maybe something against her already, or she has heard about her situation, or she knows her past, and she's using that as a, a, a because you've seen him with another man standing by himself or whatever it is. That is why she's coming out to say that. But meanwhile, it is maybe it might be that God was the one who sent you to say it, and everything that you are saying is also right. Wow. Wow. So we need to be very careful in the sight of God. God will never cause commotion among His people. No. God never causes commotion in the church. He never causes a disgrace to anybody that he's calling. But rather, he calls you and brings you to grace. He brings his grace that is sufficient in him. And then he adds that grace to you and take out the disgrace from your life. Wow. So for God to disgrace anybody in public, he never does. Wow. So that's what I'm saying. That I'll, I'll, I'll say that it's, it's, God will never do cause any commotion to anybody but we christians we need to be very careful upcoming pastors upcoming prophets needs to be very careful and know when and where that when we hear the voice of god we will say it and how to apply it so that we will not put our god into shame oh, wow powerful i like the word you said that god does not disgrace people god does mm -hmm. not disgrace people wow that's very powerful 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 um yes so I, everything you said right like you said we, we are not in a place to judge which is mm -hmm. and my next i i'm actually thinking was there somebody like who was in charge of this whole like program i know it was a thanksgiving service the organizer was the person that passed there could out. be a moderator yeah, there that some, is taking the yeah, mc or something yeah couldn't somebody have or do you think she wouldn't have still because she was in the moment <laughs> this whole thing you, you, is... you, 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 you know you know what the way she climbed she went out or mounted the platform with that zeal everybody thought maybe she, because she's also a singer yeah, you know yeah. Cecilia Mafu is a singer right mm -hmm. so everybody thought maybe she was going to grab a, 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 a microphone right, yeah. to yeah to help Joyce Blessing sing that particular song because me, even when I was watching this morning, I thought maybe she, when I saw her going up the platform, I thought she was going to back her with the song. Yeah. Until she started saying that, hey, see, God says I can tell you this. Then I was like, what is, what is this woman doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You understand me? Yeah. So even if somebody was there, a mod there was a moderator or an MC of the program, he or she will also not like to cause commotion yeah, yeah. to disgrace her. Yeah. You understand me? Or to cause any form of like uh, misunderstanding. Yeah. Our that's what I'm saying. That our it's a Thanksgiving service, yeah. so nobody would like to what spoil that thing, yeah. spoil the program what, with with bantaming of words. But if uh, the moderator had also gone in to take the microphone from her, uh, uh, it's going to be a different thing altogether. Yes. Or if somebody could have come in to shut her up or something like that, it could have been a different ball game altogether. Yeah. So it was good for the moderator to you know, at least back up, mm -hmm. see whatever is going on over there. And I know definitely at the end of the program, if there were pastors over there, they would call her, her to order. Yeah. Definitely the pastors around or whoever was in charge of the program will call her to order. But the, 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 the problem is the harm has already been caused. Yeah. The harm has already been because I always say that in this era that we are in, that everything goes viral, everything goes on social media. Wherever you stand and whatever you are doing, we need to be very careful, mm -hmm. especially pastors. Mm -hmm. If any other person does this, he or she is free. Fine. Forgetting that pastors also have blood within us, we also have our shortcomings, mm -hmm. we also have do mistakes, but they see us as angels. Mm -hmm. But yesterday I was telling somebody that. People see pastors as angels, but the Bible is saying that God has made us a little bit higher than angels. angels. Not pastors, every human being. God has made you a little bit higher than angels. That is why we are able to employ them to come to our service. Mm -hmm. Because we, who are we? That we will send angels that I'm commanding the angels. Oh Lord, I we pray that we command the angels to fight on our behalf. Yeah. You understand that we command them because God has given us that power. We were created in the image and likeness of God. The Bible never said anything in the Bible that there was no statement that angels were what? Created in the image of God. But he said he created man in the image and likeness of God. That means the power that God had, that dominion power that is in God, is what he has invested in us. And we are in the image and likeness of God. So sometimes you see people, I start to ask myself, God is so, like, so wonderful. When I was young and i was teaching sunday school sometimes you close from sunday school and do it after church service you stand there and you see every little child even that those little ones that is three months four months that have recognized their mom and their dad you are holding them and then you no know, when another person comes and if you don't know their mother or whatever you try to give you no know, he turns himself or herself around but the moment they see their mother in the car they try to stretch out their mother mm -hmm. their hands towards their parents you understand me? and that will lead you that this is where they are coming from or this is an, a, a relative or a mother or a father that is how god has made us we know our god and the bible said they that know their god they will do exploits but doing exploit not in the exploit of causing commotion yeah. not in the exploit of causing disgrace to mm -hmm. another person mm -hmm. not in the exploit way of you know exhibiting yourself to let people know that me too i have this power most prophets are like that most prophetess are like that mm -hmm. when we get to see the crowd that is where we feel that we have the anointing of god upon ourselves and we want to exhibit ourselves especially people that we think that the first of all knew us to be nobody and now that god is lifting us up i have to let them know that yes me too i am somebody <laughs> forgetting that it is somebody's power that he has given unto you and